and killed a UC student, Chad Coles. A second victim, Ellen Garner, has been in critical condition for nine days now. A space heater is what caused the fire. And when the weather gets cold again, we know tri-state families will use them again. And that's why tonight we're on your side with a warning of just how dangerous space heaters can be. Meteorologist Sherry Hughes joins us now live with a story that could save your life. Sherry? Yes, indeed, Carol. During these winter months, your heating source can be your lifesaver, but make no mistake about it, it can actually take your life if you're not careful. Right now, we're inside a fire tower in Washington Township, and we're going to show you a live demonstration on how quickly a space heater can ignite bedding. And joining me right now is Fire Chief Art Owens. And Chief, you said this could happen in any quick moment. Oh, absolutely. Um, what we want to do tonight is relay to everybody how dangerous a space heater can be. And the one thing I want to stress to everybody is not to be complacent with any appliance, especially a space heater, because in a matter of seconds, uh, this thing could take your life or destroy all your property. Okay, you have some of your firefighters here, and they're going to go ahead and get started with, uh, we have a makeshift bedding. This is the typical scenario in your home, and there's a space heater. How... How far away should your space heater be in distance from bedding and flammable materials? Well, they recommend three to five feet, but if you, once you purchase one of these, you should read the directions because every manufacturer has a different specification. You should go by that specification. Okay, if you're in a small room or even a medium-sized room, how long, Chief, does it take for a fire to become fully involved? And it's just a matter of seconds. A fire will double about every 20 seconds, and as you can see, the space heater has started the fire in just a moment this is going to move into the bedding and of course we're in a concrete room if this were in a uh, a real setting you would have carpet uh, mattresses curtains the materials on the wall this room would be consumed in just a matter of a few minutes so of course folks need to make sure that they have active smoke detectors and fire alarms but also they need to be extra careful when they're dealing with things like space heaters Oh, absolutely. Um, one of the big problems people don't think, and I was talking about complacency, uh, you just don't pay attention to what you're laying around it. And a big, a big issue are like children coming home from school and throwing a coat down next to the space heater or throwing their papers down or even clutter in your own household. Okay, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Of course, we want to keep you safe. And just realize that you need to be extra careful whenever you're dealing with any type of heating source that is flammable. I'm Sherry Hughes, live in Washington Township, nine on your side. All right, All right. Sherry, thanks.